sister Yijide Orun Miller to read the press conference. Uhuru. Uhuru. Uhuru, everyone. The Africans petitioned the United Nations cha charging U.S. with genocide. This is in Pedum's four-city winter encampment outside U.N. hearings demanding reparations for 400 years of U.S. oppression of African people. We, the International People's Democratic Uhuru Movement, are brave, are braving the freezing cold in our encampment with our, with our community, our children, our neighbors, to make it known to the world that we are charging the U.S. government with genocide against African people for 400 years of terror and oppression. We recognize that this country is built on dual genocide of native people whose land was stolen and on the genocide of the enslavement of African people. We are out here because of our commitment to overturn the brutal conditions that African people face to take power over our own lives and destiny. We are out here because in August 2015, one year after the heroic resistance of our young Africans following the brutal murder of police in Ferguson, by police in Ferguson, Missouri, of Mike Brown, we submitted to the General Assembly of the United Nations our petition based on international law including the Genocide Convention and Human Rights Charter. We are presenting evidence of the crimes against humanity that African people have suffered at the hands of the U.S. government in every aspect of our lives. We have already accumulated over 6,000 signatures on our online petition at AfricansChargeGenocide.org. We are following this fact-finding tour by the U.N. Working Group of Experts of People of African Descent to Jackson, Mississippi, Chicago, New York, and finally right here in Washington, D.C. We, where many African organizations and individuals are presenting testimony. The blizzards that we have faced in our encampment cannot compare to the blizzards of terror and violence that our people are subjected to every day in this country since we, are, since we were kidnapped uh, to the stolen land. The International People's Democratic Uhuru Movement demands reparations for over 500, 400 years of genocidal agony that we have faced at the hands of the U.S. government and white nation. We are tired of our children and family members being shot down every day as victims of U.S. state violence. We are tired of constant fear for the lives of our loved ones and chronic unemployment and poverty in our country where our soul and labor built this economy. We are tired of systemic tactics such as poisoned water and toxic waste dumps in our communities. We are tired of our people being locked up by the millions in torture chambers called prisons for, pe for things white people could never be arrested for. This violates the genocide convention of imposing measures to prevent births among the group. We are tired of our children being terrorized in the police occupied schools and the preschools prison pipeline. For 400 years we have been lynched, we have been burned, we have been driven from our families, we have been colonized. We are a nation of African people who are once free and independent, who have, who have a human right to our own self-determination and the return of our own stolen resources, reparations. We represent the new recovering movement that's rising up for the first time since the 1960s to bring to the world stage the struggle for black power. We are breaking out of the treadmill that much of the movement has been on, where the police keep killing our people and we keep protesting with empty slogans like Black Lives Matter, but towards what end? And PETA was taking our case to the international community and we are organizing African people to govern ourselves. While we recognize that the United Nations is usually an institution that has worked in the service of the United States government, it is seldom that the U.S. has had to face charges itself from oppressed peoples within its own borders. Our petition to this institution is the means by which we reach out to our countries and masses of our people around the world to acquire solidarity against the genocide and through which political pressure can be applied to force the UN to treat our petition with the respect it deserves. For more information, contact the International People's Democratic Uhuru Movement Economic Development Coordinator, Elizabeth West at 762 233-4224 or African People's Socialist Party Secretary General Gaida Cambon at 347-674-5811. Uhuru. Uhuru. All right, thank you very much. We want to thank Comrade uh, Ijide. And by the way, he, uh, Comrade Ijide is the uh, chairperson or chairwoman of the African National Women's Organization.
And next, you know, we